This film shows you how to make an anticoagulant discharge referral using ice, typically made by a doctor or a pharmacist, and also how the anticoagulant team manage the received referral and communicate appointment information back to the ward team. Start by logging into ICE, then enter and select a patient. Click on the Requesting tab and select New Request. Click on the Referrals tab, then find Anticoagulant and click the checkbox. Now complete the mandatory fields the anticoagulant team need, the indication, the INR target range and the duration of therapy. If you click Other, you'll be prompted to enter the indication at the next screen. Next, click which oral anticoagulant is being used and enter at least the last three dates, INRs and doses of the anticoagulant given. If there have been great variations in INR and dose, then record the last five to six readings. Now record today's INR and the planned dosing regimen for the next seven days to cover until an appointment can be made. Don't worry if the appointment turns out to be earlier than this. Now select any antiplatelet medicines the patient may be taking. Hold down the CTRL key if multi-selections are required, or use the bottom option if there are no antiplatelets. For each antiplatelet selected, you will then be asked if they can be stopped or not. Next, state if tinzaparin is prescribed. If yes, you'll be prompted to capture the strength, dose and start date. Finally, is there anything else you want to tell the anticoagulant team, such as what antibiotics or interacting medicines the patient may have been started, else state not applicable. Now click the green Continue with Request button. Enter your contact details, either bleep or telephone number, and the consultant's name. If it's not already checked, click the Submit Exam Referral Now button. Finally, click Accept Request in the bottom right corner. Don't print the referral, a paper copy is not needed. If you're a doctor, that's it, but you must inform your ward pharmacist that a referral has been made so they can follow through with the next steps. Pharmacists, now send a Slack message to the anticoagulant team informing them a referral is on the system. They only deal with referrals when prompted as ICE does not auto-prompt them. The anticoagulant team will log in and view their service provider list. Click Anticoagulant Clinic Referral, select Patient of Interest, then click View Full Details and accept the referral. Once you've determined the appointment details, you can enter these in the Additional Information field and click Submit. This then shows a permanent record of these arrangements. You can view different work lists for accepted and pending referrals by clicking on the Filter by Status field. Once you have updated the appointment details, you must slack the ward pharmacist back on the appropriate ward channel, tagging them for extra impact so they know when to check the information and inform the patient. Thank you for watching.